Okay, y'all are gonna love this story. At just 12 years old, Darius Brown is helping shelter animals get adopted with his bow ties. Mm -hmm. So he started this organization called Bow and Paws. It helps dress up your shelter pets to get adopted. Such a clever one. It worked for me. So Darius has even caught the attention oh. of President Obama. Oh, hello. Yeah, he's joining us now from New Jersey with his sister, Dejay. How are y'all doing? Woo! <laughs> look at y'all, look at you. How did, you, how did you come up with the idea of, of the bow ties? How did this start? I started making bow ties because my sister used to make hair bows. And at the time, I was diagnosed with the speech delay, a comprehension delay, and a fine motor skills delay. So my sister thought that if I helped my sister cut the fabric, then it could also default my fine motor skills. So then once I started playing around with the fabric, I just made the fabric look like into a bow tie. And then people just started buying a bow tie from me, and I would just greatly appreciate it. Well, you look so cute in your bow tie, Darius, by the way. But how did it get to the pet? So when was the first time you put it on a pet and realized it would help them get adopted? So the first time I put it on a pet, it was just a huge experience for me because it was the first time, and I greatly appreciate it. And I just saw the dogs looking amazing. <laughs> Spectacular. Yeah, so the first time was when Hurricane Harvey and Irma first happened, and he found out on the news that a lot of the animals was being transported from Texas to New York, and he decided to, I want to donate some bow ties to the ASPCA in New York, and it was history from there. I have to tell you, my little Tegan was a shelter rescue, and he had a bow tie and professional photo shoot, and that's one of the things that caught yeah. your attention. It definitely, definitely works, man. You it are works, to something yeah. in a major, major way. But I have, I have to tell you, I'm moved by this story <laughs> in particular because you had some, some, some delays as far as your speech and motor skills. How are you doing now? I'm doing much more better. I have actually overcame it because I'm now able to do more things I couldn't when I was younger. Darius has made a complete 360 from the time that he was a child <laughs> to now. Um, we still have, you know, some things to work out, but yeah. he's getting a lot better. Wow. Well, now you're a star too, Darius. And I know your sister loves this. We mentioned <laughs> President Obama, but what's this with you and Kim K? <laughs> what? <laughs> So um, I used to go to live with Kelly a lot, and one day Kim Kardashian was there, and I said, "Hey, <laughs> Dude, <let's> just, <laughs> you you want to meet Kim Kardashian?" He was like, "Yeah." So she was really sweet, and she she gave Darius a picture and a hug, and gave her her support. I love you, say, "Hey, girl." <laughs> Uh, yes, but, then, but then you also you. You, you received this incredible letter from President Obama. What was that like, Darius? That was just amazing. I couldn't. I was just out of words. I couldn't even breathe at that point. I bet. That letter was just amazing to me, and I just really appreciate it. As a sister, I was so happy to see that letter, especially because at that point in time, he was really feeling defeated, and he was almost at a point of giving up. Right. So that letter helped him boost his um, positivity in himself and get him determined to, you know, succeed. Yeah. So inspiring, both mm -hmm. of you. Thank you so much. For sure. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel, so hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.